Okay. Oh, work it. Oh, you're losing me. Fuck. That's all ripped. Yeah, big action. Wild. What? This camera is pretty wild. <laughs> nearly as what? <laughs> He's a big bulky guy, look. <laughs> it's a fantasy. He's living a fantasy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There he is. He is an import from England or something to that effect. He started uh, for several years in a uh, backwater league just outside of Sheffield. He's been trained in the martial arts. He's looking forward to moving on to the uh, Taekwondo Championships of Greater North Vancouver. We wish him luck. Good luck, Colin. What the? This is Al. He's played in uh, several elite leagues across the uh, northern part of BC yeah. and Alberta. The uh, Canadian Junior Major Men's Lacrosse Beaver Association. And what, uh, if, you, if you had to or could pick, one out, pick out one highlight, uh, what would it be in those, in those years? Talking to you right now, Norm. Is that right? I gotta be honest. Is it because I'm not wearing any clothing? <laughs> That's one of the unique circumstances. I dropped my glove. Oh, well, I see. Uh, we'll come back to this later. <laughs> off the cuff brand of witty humor. This really drives me crazy. Those Australian chicks get. What the? All right, should we play a bit? Yeah, well, we got to talk. Good little team's going. Come on, Timo. <laughs> oh, she's 
So is there an injury? Yet. This is Ken. He's uh, another import. He's from the United States of America. Land of the free, they say. So it's two on two then. Is that Ken it? was kicked out because of his uh, socio-political beliefs. We're going this way, shooting on the Very controversial figure throughout the northwestern part of the U.S. Oh, I think, yeah, there's one extra sub, so he'll just rotate teams. Yeah. Who will? The sub? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll go off. This is Alex okay. Parker. He's the uh, de facto commissioner for today. Set. All right. Everybody set. Trying to set things off with uh, import Colin. Half court, switch up at the line. Over there we have Laurel. So it's just shooting on the one go. She's the... Uh, so it's, it's she's the uh, actually she's the only uh, she's the only audience member of this league has, has seen yet. So, to be honest, it's been a rather disappointing. It's been a uh, disappointing. We have uh, import yeah, Colin is out of the running. game. A little too much running, he says. Into the game is former Flyers draft pick. Dropped three weeks after the draft when the team realized his skill level was relatively low. Well, he bought that at the store the week after he was let go. They gave him a 10% coupon. Seems like the game's hit a little, uh, another lull here. There's no shots getting through to the goaltender. Okay. Oh man, here he is. This is uh, Allison McDonald. He's can you help me? He's uh, I he's need tired. Help. He's very close to I the I need game. help. <laughs> Please, don't make me beg. Come on, beg for us. You like that, don't you? I do like it. I gotta use the scoring stick now. I see. That's it for the passing stick. Yeah, there's it's, uh, in Turkey. It's Easter. They've got a really strange calendar. That's true. Yes. If it's not, uh... mm. but to see all those Islamic children looking for the bunny rabbit, it's really quite wonderful. And then to see their faces in the evening while they eat the rabbit stew. <laughs> Joyous. It's like your old neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> like the Vecchios. <laughs> like the Vecchios at 1748 North River Drive. In <laughs> Bachelor Heights. You can still see the, the mingled bones. <laughs> <laughs> Who bought your house? Uh, I don't know their names. They, uh, I think the people that bought it have actually moved from there. Okay. Yeah. They, they found out the horrible secret. Well, they made it into bedroom 2A upstairs. The former uh, room. You got a small bedroom. What? It seems small. Yeah, it was. Not that I spent a lot of time in there. Sub. Sub for Tony.
Nice poke by John. Team's having a hard time getting it out. Nice pass in front. Oh, shot just went wide. Nice pass out. American intercepts it. Comes in on the uh, Brit. And I don't know what happens. Opportunity for the pair they call the Kamloops Kids. Yeah, Al McDonald in the green and Alex Parker in the white. They came together as a team in late 1988. They flirted with the notion of becoming lovers and and uh, then pairs figure skaters, but neither of their skating skills were good enough to, to really get from one end of the rink to the other in any manner whatsoever. So they decided on playing ball hockey, and they've, they've made a go of it. They've, uh, they've traveled across the country, oh, I'd say 10 to 12 times in the past 12 years. They go to uh, local fundraising and charity events, and basically call themselves the first tandem ball hockey extraordinaires. While they once flirted with the idea of making love to each other, they now make love to the king's sport of hockey. That's Alex's brother Tony. Tony for years. Tried to suppress his latent homosexual tendencies by wearing his hair quite long, but listening to hard rock, heavy metal, and playing that. He's now succumbed to reality. And good for him, good for him. Let's we see some action in front of the net. That is our goal, goaltender, John Fulton. Often mistaken for being gay, especially with, in playing in this group. But he is straight, he is married. 
and he's a hell of a goaltender. So you can see here. Unbelievable. I believe we just had a goal scored. We're going to do some isolation shots now. Another goal, another quick goal. Okay, now time for some isolations. We're going to follow Ken for a minute. The mid to late 80s, well, most American kids were saying, straight out of Compton, Ken was saying straight out of Providence. It's not like uh, many other hockey players slash gangsters. He likes to fancy himself somewhat of a scholar, as well as an athlete. You can see he's quick. He's very quick. And thus, we will be using this tape for part of his, uh, of the new video internet dating service that, that he and his good friend Colin are trying to set up. Speaking of Colin, let's go to the import from England. Big shot blocked. Colin, what more can be said? He speaks. Well, we've heard him speak at least two languages. So it's probably at least three, if you count languages with a, or if you count words with slurs, a separate language. He's uh, very, very good at speaking in slur. He likens the game of hockey to uh, English football. British football. I don't understand that. But he knows what he speaks of. We've told you about Tony. How he's coming into his own nowadays. He's really learning to love life. And in the green former Chuckanut superstar, Al McDonald. He's gone through many phases in his life. He was oft tormented by his friends and acquaintances in high school. But more often than not, he helped lay out the beatings on people such as Steve Manson, and Clayton Phillips, and the likes. Well, I'd say we've done about 15, 20 minutes of filming so far. Not a whole lot of action. As a matter of fact, a video like this should likely be destroyed because... Well, it just gives the sport a bad name. The tape's running out. We are out of here. That should have been a goal.